In tonight's Northwest Grown, I'm following up from last week's story where I showed you how an Oregon State University professor is leading the research into how wildfire smoke impacts wine and grapes. Tonight, I look at how she and her team are also working to find solutions. That's as West Coast states are seeing more and more devastating fires. When lingering smoke surrounds grapes, they can then take in that undesired flavor. For winemakers, especially in western states, that's certainly a concern because there's the threat of wildfires each year. It's very negative, like negative quality in the mouth, not, not enjoyable. But how can you prevent that? Elizabeth Tomasino, who teaches enology, the study of wine at Oregon State, is looking into it. She's also the lead researcher in a more than $7.65 million grant. And one potential solution her team is developing is a protective coating for grapes. So we're calling them some barrier sprays. There's a lot of sprays that go on fruits at different times of the year, a lot of times for uh, pesticide or, or fungicides and things. We're actually trying to see if there's a type of barrier sprayer. Actually here at OSU, we're looking at a type of um, film coating that could stop it has the right structure so the grapes can still grow and be healthy, but if there's a smoke event, it stops the compounds from getting into the grapes. The goal is to have that barrier be safe for people and edible too. They are edible coatings, um, so you could eat them if you wanted to. We don't think you need to. There is a thought they might be washed off prior, but it's actually the first year. It's looking like it's blocking some of the smoke compounds, so we'll have to do a couple more years. Even if some grapes take in the smoke, she and her colleagues are looking at how to solve those issues in the winemaking process as well. And then of course, should it not, because of course there's different levels of smoke, so maybe it just decreases the amount of smoke going in. We're still evaluating some of those aspects. We've got some other procedures that should work really well at removing those compounds in the wine later on. Also interesting, she tells me she can't reveal just yet what's in the great barrier that they are creating, but it is one of several things they're studying. That includes connecting data on things like the environment and different chemicals, all to help try to predict smoke risk to a grape or even a wine's quality. OSU is doing that research for this four year grant along with Washington State University and the University of California Davis. So Jeff, once again, very fascinating. Yeah. One of many interesting stories coming out of Oregon State. Uh, yeah, very fascinating. But of course, I know you've got a new member of the Coin family to welcome. Yeah, we're really <laughs> pleased about this. This is Brenna Green. She's our newest sports anchor at Coin, and she